Hi guys, I am Sha Marsha and today in this video I really want to talk about what is the real T10 steel blade sword. First I want to thank the store Triple X store Katana in Thailand who sent me this guy to do a cutting test and filling cutting test with me. The owner of the store store sent this guy to test in the steel quality test at the factory to see how much the carbon inside the blade of these guys. And this is a picture that I will show you. This is a picture from the owner of the store that sent to do the quality test in the factory. And this is show us how much the carbon inside this blade. This is the T10 steel and this is normally how much the carbon inside this blade should be. In this picture we show us now is the 0.982% of the carbon inside the blade. Don't understand wrong. The blade like this in nowadays you cannot comparison with the sword in the ancient time for sure because of what? Because of the sword in nowadays we have a good high technology of the tools and control the quality how to put the carbon inside the sword. In ancient time we don't have a quality test and quality control like this like i talked from the last video why you have to put the carbon inside the steel to make a blade because this carbon make the steel more durable and more hard this is the tool which is everyone know is used for blunt the steel or or brand the sharp steel this is example of the steel that have a lot of carbon in it the strong point of this thing is it's really hard so it can brunt every steel but the weak point of the carbon steel like this is when you are drop it on the floor and it's gonna break into pieces or it's gonna break like a glass you don't want that happen in your real life when you have to fighting with the sword for sure right that's why we have to control the carbon inside the steel not to have the carbon too much not to have the carbon too less we always have the problem like that in the history of the ancient time and we can see how japanese people develop the quality of the sword the first impress of this guy of course i will talking about i impressed about the balance and how it feel in my hand i will not talking about the quality of the steel and whatever inside because i exactly don't have a tool to test it so as a user of course, I'm gonna give uh, important things about the balance because of this is the most important thing when you use the sword. And some of the sword have too much weight in front of the blade and it make me feel like I swing the axe. I don't like that feeling. Let's see the video of my cutting test with these guys in here this video as you can see. I use the recycled water bottles to do a simulation of the cutting target. It feels really light, it feels very flexible, I f it feels very comfort on my hand. You know, it's really important when you have to use a sword because if you use too heavy sword and you swung the sword and you lose control of your sword, right? But this guy is impressed me so far about how it's weight, about how it's can control in my hand and how it's cut I can just only see the target and just cut very accurate this is the most important thing of how the good sword it should be as the last video of around three months ago I did the test of the T10 steel blade cut path to the flesh and bone which is a used example from the leg of the poor as you can see this video I did a test and T10 still make an impress so far because of the sharp edge of the steel blade T10 make a less damage on the blade after cut pass through the bone I will say it is the less damage on the blade because it still took some damage from after cutting pass to the bone which is really big bones and it impressed me so much because Meanwhile, the 9260 steel sharp edge got chipped or got a lot of damage on it. This is a real quality of the T10 sword should be. I will say Japanese sword is very famous in the ancient time period because of what? 
I think by my opinion and my testing and my researching, I think the Japanese sword have a unique style or unique shape of the blade. Why? You can see the line which is called Niku in Japan, which is mean like a side of the sword. And if you can see from here, you can see how thick it is at the back edge of the sword. I will use the comparison with this guys. This is example of the old time period. So the sword like this, I didn't say it's not a good sword, it's a good sword, but look at how slim it is. And that is why the Japanese sword is very durable and very strong because they have a unique shape of the blade. This shape of the blade is more slim and that's why it's have a less power to resist how you have to cross the sword are you using for block and you using for parry are you using for deflect from the size okay guys i hope you enjoy my video and i hope this video will help you a lot to know about what you don't know before i hope this video will answer you what exactly is t10 steel blade Thank you so much for supporting, thank you so much for following and feel free to leave your any comments under my video clip below and we'll be happy to know more knowledge if you know anything about the blade and the quality of the blade and the time period of the blade. Please subscribe my YouTube channel Sham Asher and I hope to see you guys for the next video. Thank you.